Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of me reacting to these scary story animations. We got three good ones that we're gonna check out in this episode. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, cause here we go! First video of today's episode is called Spook Train Room 1 Curtains. It is from Lee Hardcastle. All animations will be in the description box below, but let's check this video out and see what the spook train actually is. Pride. I love pride. I got a lot of pride in that mullet right now. Okay, see that thing flying back? Just flying back like that. Okay. What is that, a skunk? A possum? Sniffing like a dog, though. He's gonna get... Oh, no! Oh, come on! All right. Karma. Instant karma. <laughs> that was actually pretty cool. God, my long hair is getting in my face. It's like tickling my eyes. You're not married because you're too busy visiting your mother all the time. It's not normal. Well, since Dad's gone and now Tony's gone, you'd be a bit vulnerable not to mention lonely. Don't you agree? If you've got the other bus like your brother did, I'm going to be very upset, George. I'm not like Tony. Don't be so bloody dramatic. I've just not met the right woman yet. <laughs> <laughs> just randomly open her mouth after it was closed. Hold on. Let's do this. Look, 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 look. Watch. <laughs> do you what the doctor said? I love little things like that. Like, they, what the? Who the? Winston. Who's that? I feel the thing he said. Oh, he didn't die? Well, he did die. Okay, I thought that was him in the past, but that's clearly not the case. <laughs> I thought he had a serious brain injury, but yeah, well, that brain it's just quite went. Quite a nice way to leave this world, rather than that. Um, hey, actually, AIDS. Grandma, can you stop man spreading right now? Close them it's legs, Granny. Right. Take your pills. Is in the 1920s no more? Oh, Can't be doing oh. things like that. Open that uh, mouth uh, again. Uh, are these the right ones? Yes, Mum. Take them. What kind of accent oh. is that? Oh. Careful! Bloody old thing. Who are you calling old? This claymation is sick, Free guys. Lee Hardcastle got some serious talent. Nice I don't know why, like. Never mind. Oh, God! I don't even know what I'm talking about. Curtains! You forgot me, curtains! Is there a problem with forgetting the curtains? What's up with forgetting the curtains? Is it like a thing? Is it like a rite of passage? You're officially old when you start doing crossword puzzles? I feel like crossword puzzles aren't even fun, they're kind of just annoying. You're like, okay, what has the letter E in it? J A A A A. You know, I'm just like, come on, bro. Like, chill with that. She didn't even fill out one of the crossword puzzles. Come on, dumbass. Let's go, Granny. Get your brain in the game. Oh, she's sleeping. I can't even tell because she doesn't even have eyes. <laughs> that sounded like somebody spreading their butt cheeks on a window. I know that sound because I've done it before. I've mooned my friends. I'd be like, hey, I'm outside. Just like double cheeked up on a Sunday. I pressed up against the window. You guys know what I do. Come on, stop playing with me. Oh, Anyone throw that thing back. In. Throw that thing back, girl. What that spine do? This claymation is so cool. They even got her walking old. Like, they animated her walking old. That's talent right there. Double cheeked up. I'm telling you. Who's there, huh? I'm scared the dentures out of her old ass! Almost scared the dentures out of me! I gotta make sure all my teeth are intact. That was good. Close it, close it, close the curtains, baby! Yeah. Put the teeth back in your mouth, Danny! She don't care. She has her priorities straight. She gotta finish the crossword puzzle. No! No, Granny, no! He's come to finish the job! My house! Nice. <laughs> Seven days. Mom, mom. Bro bro broken in. Someone's in the house. I've fallen over. And I can't get up. Any final words for Granny, everybody? Write it down in the comments. 
She was a good granny. She might have been a little hood granny, but she was good. Oh no. Oh, what the hell? Whoa! Oh my god! Bro, I got like nine heart attacks in this video so far! Did he just grab that with his dick? No. How are you gonna beat her with her own walking cane? That's rude. That's offensive. I'm offended by that. <laughs> now he's just showing off. He's just he's, he's just showing off now. You know he's just he's just throwing that thing with his name. He's just showing off. Wow, the nerve. <laughs> oh God! He's like, God damn, that dude's ruthless. All because the guy didn't close the curtains? Oh yeah, fucking way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, Granny! Someone saw Granny! Flicks on these hoes! Oh! <laughs> Wait, is that. Hold on. Guys, I'm not gonna rewind that. You guys can if you want. But did that thing that popped out of the wall have saggy ass nuts? Like, go back a little bit because I'm not gonna try to focus my attention on that. But did that monster that popped out of the wall have two saggy ass nuts? Let me know. Let me know. Actually, don't let me know. Just let me know spiritually, okay? Oh. <gasps> They're already dead. That's the other side. So she's gonna be on the other side too. Watch. Watch, I'm calling it right now. Goodness. Dude, this is holy crap. Yo, that is one of the most insane claymations I have ever seen in my life. Wow. Wow. I know this video isn't over yet, but... Oh, oh, oh. It was a dream? <gasps> she died peacefully in her sleep. <laughs> what a twist! What a twist! What a twist! I thought she died! But I mean, those monsters obviously weren't real. What a twist! What another twist! Oh my god, twist on twist! What another twist! What a- What the- So many twists! Bro! Oh my god, the last thing that was twisted was their tongues in each other's mouths! Lee Hardcastle! Yo! Lee Hardcastle, can we give a round of applause? That was amazing. Yo, check this guy's channel in the description box below. That was amazing. Next video of today's episode is called True Horror Story About a Creepy Guy at the Restaurant. This one comes from my guy, Wansi Entertainment, who recently hit a over 1 million ago, subscribers. So congrats mom, to you. My younger anyway, sister let me shut up. and I went out for dinner at a local restaurant one night. As we were walking on the sidewalk towards the restaurant, I noticed a man walking towards us from the opposite direction. Well, I can say that this was normal. But there was sort of a creepy vibe about him. He looked like he was in his mid-fifties. Why is he blushing too? He was tall and had a dirty beard. He was also bald. <laughs> he was also anyway, bald and we ugly walked and hairy. The restaurant and the waiter led us to a table. Then a few minutes later, the same man from the sidewalk walked in and sat at a table Maybe it was just a ours, big old kawaii thing. So Come on. I mean, let's be real here. It's not. This was weird. It's not. But when our With the way he's out, blushing from I cheek to cheek, away no, any doubts about that ain't no coinky dink. While we were eating, I noticed that he was staring at me the whole See, time. See, he's enjoying his dinner, tried to just looking him. around. When my sister and I were almost finished eating, the waiter came up to us and said to my Table mom, Table for Ma'am, don't worry, your bill has been paid. My mom was confused and asked him what he meant. 
and he said that the man who was sitting next to our table had offered to pay the bill for us. What a nice guy. Do you guys realize how hard it is to be that bald and to be that nice? I feel like all the bald people in the world are all assholes, but this guy, he seems like he's one of the good ones. Although this was a cheap restaurant, my mom refused the offer and explained that she was creeped out by that man. The waiter soon nodded and went to go get our bill. When he left, <laughs> he's like, the yeah, man yeah, yeah, slowly okay. walked towards us, opened a strange duffel bag he was carrying, and pulled out two stuffed animals. What? The shapes of the stuffed animals. Those aren't stuffed totally animals. Crushed. Those are stuffed and real I animals. I didn't realize that it was an animal at first. Oh, it was the most they stink? disgusting thing that I've ever seen in oh, my life. They smell life. like the top of his bald head. My heart head. started beating faster when he came over to our table and gave Dude, the get that away from them. They're trying to eat dinner. Being a five-year-old girl, my sister was going to say yes. Yo, I'm not a five-year-old girl. Sometimes I scream high like one. But even as a five-year-old girl, like let's just say I was a five-year-old girl, I'd still be screaming at whatever the hell this man is holding. If, whether those are real or fake, they just look weird. But my mom and I both interrupted and refused. Then the man didn't say a word. He walked back to his table and sat down. After he just the left the stuffed animals down bill, there? My mom explained what just happened. The waiter said that the man paid for his meal, so it wasn't possible to kick him out. However, the waiter said that he would follow us out of the restaurant to make sure everything was okay. That's it? Just follow them out of the restaurant? What good is that gonna do? Later that night, when we came back home, I tried to fall asleep. But it was hard to close my eyes because I was still feeling uncomfortable. I just laid there, and when I looked at the clock, it was around 2 a.m. All of a sudden, I heard someone walking outside my window. It was the fall season, so all the dead leaves would make loud crunching sounds whenever someone walked That's not the them. only thing that's going to be dead At tonight. First, I assumed that it might have been some type of animal. However, I abruptly remembered the man from the restaurant and began to feel scared. The sound of footsteps was getting closer, and I shut my eyes as It could have been anything. A coyote, could. a rabbit, knock, but let's be real, it's probably knock, that guy. No. I heard someone knock on my window three times, slowly. I froze. I knew that it was a red flag and that I shouldn't open my eyes. All right, so let me ask you guys a question. Do you have a window in your room? If yes, do you have curtains that allow you to close the blinds or do you have like a shutter or just anything that can cause you to like deflect the sun from coming into your room? If you do, do you leave it this wide open at night? If you do, what is wrong with you? Why would you keep it that wide open at night? It's so freaky. Come on, man. It's kind of like people who leave their doors wide open when they go to sleep. Who does that? But I opened my eyes cautiously. Then my heart dropped. The man at the restaurant was peeking through my oh! window with his glaring eyes. And looked me up and People down. really don't know I how to put their tongues away. I just laid there. Just leave it hanging like they're a freaking doll. A dream. I couldn't scream at all. I just laid there praying that it must be a dream. I would scream. I don't care who I'm waking up. However, he didn't do I would scream so loud to too. Hit them high notes. Mariah Carey style. I would have been like. <laughs> I I'm didn't sorry, get guys. any sleep for I the rest of the night. I apologize for that cringe. The next morning, I explained to my mom what happened yesterday, and she called the police right away. However, although the police searched all over the area, they couldn't find him. That's not him. He's a half-balding man. Looks creepy. He looks exactly like the dude. Come on, now. They didn't know who that creeper was or what. Is he, he right wanted. there? But I'll never forget that night. <gasps> Who's that? What a twist again? Should we say it on three, guys? One, two, three. What a twist. Last video of today's episode is called True Road Trip Horror Stories Animated. This also comes from 1C Entertainment. 1C Entertainment just cranks out the horror videos left and right. That's why I'm checking out a lot of them throughout this whole series. But yeah, let's see why this true road trip is so scary. I was on a so my friend Tom throughout upstate New York. On our second night of driving, we were taking some peaceful back road through the woods because we were tired of the noisy highway. So as we were driving down this narrow, dilapidated road, Tom suddenly really needed to use the bathroom. I asked him if he could hold it, but he said that if he held it any longer, his bladder would explode. 
So I just sighed and tried to find like a gas station or something. I've never peed my pants before. There was nothing to be seen. I peed in a bottle before because so I had I to pee so bad when I was on a road trip. But I've road, never peed in my pants before. Finally, I saw lights cutting through the darkness up ahead. Peeing in a bottle is an eye-opening experience. It takes a lot of talent. Bad. And then you realize how much pee you actually have because it fills the whole bottle and then you're about to overflow it and you're like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Before I'd even part the car, Tom flew out the door and raced inside. I realized while so happy the about? Car, I was actually hungry, so I pulled out some change from my pocket. It would at least be enough for a bag of crap. Broke ass. Or something. Broke boiler. So then I went inside. Just kidding, we all been there. We all been there, As done I was that. walking through the store examining everything on the shelves. I felt a tingly feeling on my neck, like I was being watched. I turned around and saw a bearded man in a yellow suit casually slip into the other aisle. Hey, is it just me or is this narrator's voice making you very sleepy? Like, I want to yawn right now. Hold on. Oh, oh man. He got that sleepy time voice. Like, he got that this narration is brought to you by NyQuil voice. Good I lord. My eyes picked up a bag hey, boy, of cheese. He can't sleep you over here. I need bed. to watch this with a blanket and a pillow or something. Looking at the dark woods uh, damn. behind the 7-Eleven. Tom had been gone forever, so I texted him and he told me he was just finishing taking a huge shit. <laughs> Tom. That's me. I'm Tom. I was Tom. just crunching on my cheese. <laughs> I'm also him. Before. I would have just eaten a box Psst. of cheese. It's too. Psst. I quickly Psst. looked around Jesus. but saw nobody. Over here. Oh, George teeth. Finally, I spotted. Got those Halloween teeth. Around a tree Candy cord shit. His face was all dirty, and he had glassy eyes. We stood staring at each other for what seemed like the longest time until he said, Come over here. If somebody whispered like that in my ear, this dude better make me act up. Hell no. Like, I don't act up I in public, but he's gonna make doors. me act up Tasting real quick. To hurry the f up. I told him there was a creepy weirdo outside the car, and he was all like, All right, be right over. Why did he whisper it? Later on, he walked he out the door and climbed into the douche. car, and I hit the gas to get as far away from that place as possible. As we were driving, I looked back one last time in the rearview mirror and saw three cloaked Pokemon standing in the trees. Did he say three cloaked Pokemon? What did he say? Did he say three cloaked Pokemon? In the mirror. Hold on. And saw three cloaked Pokemon. Three cloaked in the trees. bulky men. How do you know they're bulky? They look like they're silhouetted. Needless to say, I still have no idea what the hell was going on at that place. Nor do I ever want to find out. Huh. That was it? That was really it? Um, maybe we should check out one more, huh? Last video of today's episode is called I Went in the Wrong Ride and Almost Got Killed. This is also from Wansi Entertainment. Check this out all the animations in the description story, box below. But, but let me shut up. Church, and he wanted to share his experience with anyone else. He's a 32-year-old man, and his pseudoname is Mark. What's his real name? Why does he have to have a pseudoname? If you do have a pseudoname, why can't it be something cooler than Mark? He's a fairly big guy, and this situation took place when he was on his way home from work. Hi, big guy. My he bad, said big that guy. he had lost his phone one week Show before got, this whole guy? situation happened, so he couldn't call and get any help during the story. It was quite late, around 11 p.m., he had finished work and was walking to a taxi stop location, and when he got there, a few people were standing around waiting as well. I didn't know After that about two those. minutes, he noticed that there was I've a minivan approaching. In real life. Actually, I've seen those Usually, in Las Vegas. minivans are cheaper than taxis, and he felt tired that day, so he decided to take the minivan. He sat on a seat, and there was a young boy seated in the passenger side next to Pumpkin the driver head who ass. was collecting Bolt the fare. Head ass. Yeah, I'm talking and to you. Then, Two other boys who looked like teenagers also boarded the minivan and sat in the seats in front of him. Cool, cool. Once the minivan took off, after about five minutes, the boy asked if they would like to drink some Coke. Don't trust that kid. Why would that kid even say that? Why would that kid even offer some soda? Just face forward with your freaking roly poly head ass and just wait for everybody to get to their destination. Just face forward! The boys accepted and started drinking. And they also gave it to Mark. I gotta do the sound effects, guys. Mark was also feeling Here, thirsty, you so he took this. it. But only a sip. 
Just a couple gulps Not much for him. later, he started feeling drowsy. Oh, you are getting sleepy Just headers. before he about laid his head on the seat beside him, he noticed that those two boys were already knocked out. Oh, dude. After he laid his head down, he heard noises coming from the back seats. Two people were talking in a different language. Oh, the car was black passing market a big type signboard stuff. that showed Crest Chicken Farm. Like, that's that type of stuff where you go on a ride in, like, a third world country, and then they drug you and take out your organs and just sell it on the black market. Like, that's a real thing. And then he finally passed that's out. That's a real thing. When he got up, he found himself inside a big shed-like barn, and there were some tools on a big table. Yep. He was yep. on the floor, and the other two teenage boys were laying next to that's him. That's that unwanted organ he donation. He still felt a bit drowsy but he managed to get himself up as he was looking for an escape. He saw that the two boys were still passed out, yeah, so knock, he tried knock. waking Who's them, there? but they Not wouldn't me. budge. As Mark was kind of a big man, he tried to see if he could carry one of them, but it was hard to do because even them. Mark Just was having a hard Something. time to stand on properly. Face. Anything to wake and them then, up. he heard voices. He took a peek from the door, and three people were walking toward the big shed, oh, coming from a goodness. house on the hill, which was quite close to the shed. Mark panicked and tried to look for another exit. He was looking around the place, and he found one at the end of the shed, luckily. I feel like I've seen something like this before. He approached quietly and escaped as fast as he could. Maybe on a different channel. At this point, his like vision was story. all blurry, but he managed to find a fence door and unlocked it. I mean, nonetheless, this is very He heard creepy. the people shouting, but he ignored. He just kept on running. When he finally reached his house... It was early morning, around 5 a.m. How did he know where he was, His though? wife was up all night waiting for him and ran out the front door as soon as she saw him. He collapsed and slept for almost the whole day. When he woke up and finally got a chance to explain to his wife what had transpired that night, he remembered about the other two boys who were still there. Then he contacted the police immediately. He told the police about the road signs and a big billboard for Crest Chicken Farm and other things that I he could remember. I bet you the farm's not even there anymore, watch. About two weeks after, there was a police report about how they found two teenage boys' bodies in a lake Aww. and advised that when they examined the bodies, all their organs were missing. Told you. Mark just Told stood you. in fear. That black market and as the money. event was too traumatic That's for him, real stuff Mark right had there. to quit a job for a while. Yeah, guys, I mean, a word of advice, if you guys didn't know this already, never accept rides from strangers. Never take any type of, like, cab ride or Lyft ride or Uber ride that's not verified. Did I rhyme? But yeah, don't take any unidentified rides with anybody, even if, like, you hear somebody say, oh, yeah, they're legit. No, just try to make sure that it is legit. Try to verify it, make sure that all the facts and all the documentation is there because you never know, something like this could happen. But anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of Reacting to these Scary Story Animations. If you want me to react to any more animations across the internet, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!